So Nintendo really, really, really wants us to watch the Game Awards 2017 tomorrow. Uh, they have tweeted out a tweet on the at Nintendo America Twitter account. Uh, they t- actually tweeted this out a couple days ago, but it kind of fell through the grapevine for me just because I had some other more pressing matters to deal with. But it says, clear your calendar for Thursday night at the Game Awards are live December 7th at 5.30 Pacific. For those who don't know, that's tomorrow. That's right. We've been waiting for this for a few weeks, and now tomorrow the Game Awards is happening. Uh, We actually did a betting special on our most recent episode of the podcast, which you can check out in the top right corner of this video. Now, the reason that this tweet matters is because Nintendo has a history at the Game Awards. Uh, A storied history. Well, I I guess a storied history. Uh, This version of the Game Awards, as ran by and hosted by Jeff Keighley, has been in session for three years, this being the fourth. And Nintendo, at every single one of these Game Awards, has done something special. Now, if you are a Nintendo fan that's followed them at these events, you would know this, but Nintendo uh, doesn't traditionally promote things unless they have something big happening. Now, the big thing happening could just be that one of their games, uh, be it Breath of the Wild and or Odyssey, are winning Game of the Year. Uh, it could be that one or both of those games are going to win several awards. So Nintendo wants you to tune in because they're going to dominate this bad boy. In fact, Nintendo games are up for something like 13 different awards, which is almost half of the awards at the Game Awards. Uh, so Nintendo is really, really sitting pretty uh, to walk away with at least one, if not a dozen awards, possibly. However, I feel like this tease is for something more. You see, in the past, Nintendo has done the following. At 2014, they gave us the very first gameplay look. So the very first Game Awards ever, they gave us the first gameplay of what later became known as Breath of the Wild. At the Game Awards 2015, it wasn't so much that Nintendo showed off anything big, but there was an entire segment dedicated to honoring Satoru Iwata. Both Jeff Keighley and Reggie fils spoke out about it, and it's arguably the most important part of the entire Game Awards in 2015, at least if you're a Nintendo fan. And there's a lot of great moments that happen. You saw you know, great games like Uncharted 4, Thief's End had a trailer, or you saw things like Greg Miller's speech about honoring all the names that are in the credits that don't get you know public recognition for their work on video games. And... It's just a great, great moment. But again, two years in a row, Nintendo doing something major at the Game Awards. Then we get to the Game Awards 2016. They brought Bill Trinan on stage to show off more footage, trailers, and gameplay of Breath of the Wild, which had yet to be released, and as we all know, has released this year. Now, You might be wondering, well, how can Nintendo have more big things to show? After all, of the three years, two of the big things they showed off were from the same game. I hear you. And the other year, they didn't even show off a game per se, or at least a big game, but rather just had a heartwarming moment for Iwata. But here's the thing. Nintendo is coming off of one of their most successful platform launches of all time. Coming off their first holiday sales season of all time for that really, really successful platform. And Nintendo obviously has two particular games in Super Mario Odyssey and Zelda Breath of the Wild up for several awards. Now is the time. Now is the time. Uh, uh, If any other time in the Game Awards was the time for Nintendo to show something off, now is it. We just had Xenoblade Chronicles 2 release. And for all of the problems it may have with uh, whether it's resolution, frame rate, or any other issues people are encountering with the game, it is still the last major game releasing on Switch for this year. And while Kirby and Yoshi are enticing titles, uh, titles that some people are going to you know, really, really want to get their hands on, they don't exactly move the needle of hype for the future of the platform in 2018. And yes, Metroid Prime 4 has been announced. Yes, Pokemon Switch has been announced. But we haven't seen anything from those games. 
So, here we are at the Game Awards 2017. Nintendo advertising the Game Awards 2017, either because they're going to win awards or because they're going to win awards and show something off. And if I had to wager, Nintendo's got something major up its sleeve. I don't know. Maybe this is where Metroid Prime 4 gets unveiled. Maybe we see Pokemon Switch. Maybe we finally get the the debut of whatever the heck Retro Studios has been working on and hiring for over the past three years. I don't know. But what I do know is that in all three prior game awards, beyond the awards that Nintendo had had won at these events, Nintendo had a major thing happen in each award outside of the... Uh, Nintendo had a major thing happen in each game awards ceremony beyond the awards themselves. So what's in store this year? I don't know. You don't know. None of us know. What I can tell you is that we will be live streaming and live reacting to the Game Awards tomorrow. And let me tell you, folks, I can't wait. Anyways, I am Nathaniel Ruffle-Jantz from Nintendo Prime. And if you like this video, you know what to do. And if you dislike the video, hit that dislike button. Subscribe for more content. And I will catch you in the next one.